Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we're doing something else from NZXT. We're looking at their N7 Z690 motherboard. Now, I always very stealthy approach NZXT take to their motherboards. This is the black variant, of course, as you can tell by the box, but they also do have white if you want to look at that. Now you might be thinking, why am I looking at the Z690 motherboard? Especially when they've got a Z790 motherboard coming out, which is actually on the way. Well, a couple of reasons behind it. Because obviously there's a new motherboard coming out, this means that this one is actually a lot cheaper. So it's currently on offer for $224.99 rather than $269.99. Nice. If you're not going to be looking at Gen 5 storage for the you know, foreseeable future, then this can save you quite a bit of money. Also, it's using DDR4 rather than DDR5. So again, where DDR5 is so expensive at the moment, that's obviously going to save you money there as well. Accessory wise, we've got kind of a quick start guide. And then the right hand side, we have some Wi Fi antennas. This has got Wi Fi built in. There's some SATA cables. These are just standard black ones. There's two right angled ones in there. Then we've got some M.2 screws and then standoffs. I just love the matte black that they've gone for. Now, if you're wondering, NZXT, never seen them make motherboards before. They actually use ASRock as their OEM for these, much like they use um, Seasonic and Superflower for their power supplies. They do uh, work with another company to develop them. If you've ever used the ASRock motherboard, this kind of uh, foam around the outside will be familiar. That's kind of an ASRock thing they do. And there you have it. So as you can tell, there's a lot of covers on this motherboard. That's where you get most of the you know, sleek and stealth aesthetic as you can't see most of the components that are on the board. So at the top we've got our eight plus four for our EPS power. There's two four pin fan headers, then an additional two to the right of that as well. We've got three more down the bottom. So we've got a total of seven on this motherboard. Pretty typical to see seven, you get one for a Gemini IO pump, then you've got six additional for fans. We've also got two headers for NZXT's LEDs as well, but we'll cover those more in the future as we will be doing a few builds. Of course, we have a 24 pin and then we've got a Type-C connector as well. That's USB 3.2 Gen 2. And on the side, we've also got a USB 3 header, so great for your case IO. And then we've got four SATA 6 gigabit ports. Our four DIMM slots, this will support up to 128 gigabytes of DDR4 with a 5,000 megahertz limit. We've got two USB 2 headers down the bottom, so good if you're using anything like a Corsair command that requires USB 2 control. We've got a 12 volt header for RGB and also a 5 volt addressable. Front audio is on the bottom left, and then we have our front panel on the bottom right, and some nice onboard power controls, which I do love to see. This will support a Gen 5 graphics card, but your storage will be limited to Gen 4, so that was what I was saying at the start, is if you're happy with Gen 4 and you don't think you're gonna to need to use Gen 5 storage, then this will obviously save you money. So there's our first storage slot. We've also got a built-in thermal pad as well for heat dissipation. That will support up to an 80 millimeter drive. Next down, we have another slot which support up to 110. There is a small slot, but that's got our Wi-Fi card in, that's Wi-Fi 6E. And then we've got our final slot on the bottom, which is another 80 mil slot. Just to show you that you can take off the kind of covers and armor that is on the board as well, should you want to. So you can strip it back. But my thinking is if you're gonna buy this board, you're probably buying it for the covers and the stealth aesthetic anyway. So you're not really likely to take these off. There's also some Gen 1 slots as well. So good for capture cards and things like that if you're doing live streaming. Obviously NZXT are for the gamers, so it makes sense that they include something like that. So always nice to have. So then last but not least, we have the rear IO. So we've got a clear CMOS, so good for troubleshooting and then the also bars flashback button. Uh, that also goes into the first USB port as well if you want to upgrade your BIOS. We've got an HDMI port, so great if you're using a SKU that's got onboard graphics, always good for troubleshooting again. We've got where we're screwing our Wi-Fi 6E antennas. We've got two USB 2 ports. There's also three USB 3.2 Gen 1s. There's two USB 3.2 Gen 2s. <laughs> I hate these naming conventions so much. And then we've got a USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C port, so that would do 20 gigabits per second. Further down, we've got our Ethernet port. I think that's 2.5 gig. And then we've got some audio options at the bottom. So that was a look at the N7 Z690 motherboard from NZXT. I will be using this in a stealth build very soon. Funny that. Um, but I've always loved how they've done their motherboards. And I'm really looking forward to looking at their new ones as well, including the Team Red variant. So stay tuned, get subscribed, ding the bell so you don't miss those. Coming up very soon. So thank you all for watching, guys. I will include the links to this down below if you fancy picking one up. And like I said, get subscribed for the other content coming very soon. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.